You know, Jeremy racked up quite a bill traveling Europe. In this case, I think I'm going to have to help Jeremy out. Do you guys take checks? This is ridiculous. Let's go to Vegas. You did notice the um, utilization of Macklemore on my entry here. I'm not shitting you, I just love Macklemore. His manager gave me tickets, and so I'm in there with Roger. Having fun, talking about tweeting, and this amount of humanity that is so big I've never seen it circled me. I mean, no shit, this was four gigantic human beings. My CFO Braxton Carter hid in the bathroom. I don't wanna go to jail, I mean, been a few months, I don't feel like going back. I said, can you, can I just ask you, are you sure AT&T wants to kick me out? She said to me, yes, I spoke to the CEO of AT&T and she wants you to leave. <laughs> so, I don't know. Thank you very much for that viral response to my treatment. I was uh, placed in the New York Post slightly to the left of the question as to whether Kim Kardashian's selfie was photoshopped and right above Former Governor Spitzer being caught sucking someone's toes in a topless uh, tub. Where, where is Roger? You ever take another goddamn picture of me and I'm gonna shoot you? Wouldn't it be fun if right now I did the Michael, whatever his name is, thing off to the left? Those of you that were here last year, it started here with some connection that I saw with all of you and with customers that this industry blows. Now, that was then, and there's a, there's a now, but in order to talk about the now, let me just do one second on each of my friendly competitors, if you don't mind. Let's start with Verizon. If you think about it, we grew up thinking the family plan was a nice thing to give a family. They all sat together, they got lower prices, and it was good for everybody. That is total horseshit. Okay, Sprint. If I would just summarize, summarize, summarize them as uh, an impaired brand, right now with a network capability that won't be here for a while. Customers should be able to leave, and when it turns out to be whatever they're gonna have that beams up Scotty, then go back. AT&T. AT&T is a total source of amusement for me because they're the one that takes my bullshit. This is the part where you shit your pants, Roger. So how many net ads for T-Mobile in 2013? 4.4. Million. That has made us the fastest growing wireless company in the US. Now, I can tell you what's gonna happen from here when we announce the next few things. We are either gonna take over this whole industry or these bastards are gonna change, the whole industry is gonna shift, and we will still be highly successful, and I don't give a goddamn either one of those things. If everybody switched to T-Mobile from Verizon, Sprint, and AT&T, the savings for customers would be $20 billion. Now, a, a fun part about this is that right now, um, I am um, going to send a cease and desist letter to AT&T um, to stop their advertising that say they're the fastest. Do you know how many billboards they're gonna have to take down? And because it's just not true anymore, this is gonna change things completely. And there's no trick, there's no trickery, problem solved. Anybody who wants to switch now can. So what you're gonna see now is 1.645 million customers came in Q4, but we've only been doing Uncarrier for eight months, which means tons are locked into contracts. Here's some scary stats. 40% of families say they would move if somebody paid their early termination fees. And by the way, AT&T customers, come over to this plan. And if it doesn't work, they'll pay you to come back. It's beautiful. Hey John, there, there's increasing speculation that you guys might be acquired by Sprint or somebody else. Could you talk about how that might affect customer decisions to take you up on some of these shifting offers? Yeah, I mean, obviously you know that uh, as a CEO of a public company, I'm supposed to drool and say, you know, well, we don't have anything to say about that. Uh, I, I have a couple things to say about it, actually. <laughs> there are options for the industry in the future that are consolidation capabilities that would provide significant scale and capability. But I believe what we are in any of those equations is a brand, a focus on the consumer, a change agent, a maverick in the industry that I believe the United States feels is extremely important. So I think what we're doing in any scenario will prevail. Anybody ever go sing karaoke? Right? Karaoke.